What's going on guys? If you're watching this, you're probably a broke college student, right? And for that reason, you should like, okay? Hit that like button, please. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys are watching this, pretty sure you're a broke college student, just like me. All right, and we all know it's a struggle, you know, from being up late at night, you know, studying for tests, and then, you know, getting that craving and looking for something to eat and blah, 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 blah. You shouldn't be doing that if you're, if you're looking for gains, all right? You shouldn't be stress eating and eating all this crap, you know, at all times of the night and whatever. But sometimes we do what we gotta do. You shouldn't be doing that. But anyways, now what you guys came here for. So, you know, uh, what I eat or what you should be eating for gains, all right, in college. So, where I go to school, we have a supermarket called Wegmans. Now, Wegmans, I love Wegmans. Wegmans is amazing. Wegmans is inexpensive. It always has deals, it's very cheap. So most places, because I'm from the city, so New York, so I'm not used to that. Um, so I know in other places is probably expensive as well. Um, but uh but yeah let's let's get into this so first up we have our sources of protein all right we got chicken all right so right here i got some chicken quarters all right only 296 that's it 296 come on you tell me like Fantastic, it's fantastic. Ah. Now, other sorts of protein here. We have beef, ground beef. Um, the more lean your beef is, it is way more expensive, like it jumps. Um, so I usually go for the cheapest one, and that is the 80% lean, 20% fat. Um, this is about six and a half pounds, um, and it lasts a good while depending how you use it. Um, I like to get creative, you know, do a bunch of different things with it. Um, it's 14, 17, but like I said, this is six pounds right here. So this is pretty versatile, you know, you could put it in some pastas, just eat it over some rice. You know, I like to make nachos with it. Um, it's very fun. You know, you could do a lot. You could do a lot with this. Very good. And uh, because it's high fat content, because like I said, how cheap it is, um, you do, or what I tend to do is, when I'm cooking it down, um, I'll tend to just pour out the excess oil because it does get pretty like soupy because there is a lot of oil in that pot, all right? But on to our next, oh, another great source of protein is actually, um, you know, beans. Uh, I recommend, you know, just getting some canned beans and stuff. You can have it on the side of these, incorporate it, however you want to do it. Um, yeah, beans are a great source of protein. Definitely really cheap. Some canned beans, I think. The canned beans that I get are only like 50 cents, 60 cents. So definitely another great source of protein that you guys should incorporate in your diet. Um, so now on to our carbs, or let's just say, I'll just show you the veggies real quick. So, frozen veggies. I love frozen veggies. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, frozen things have virtually a similar, you know, amount of nutrients as the fresh. Obviously, fresh is always better, but we are in college, okay, guys? Like, we're not going to the store all the time. We're not... You know, we don't have all this money to spend on all this expensive, fresh produce and then are expected to use all of it within that time before it goes bad. You know what I'm saying? So, essentials, okay? Essentials. So just pop this in the microwave, five, six minutes in the bag, and pour it alongside your food. Great source of, of veggies right here. Always need veggies, okay? Don't skip on your veggies. Um... I do get fresh produce and stuff like that. Uh, that's because I have a little bit different situation. Like I said, I have Wegmans. 
so or places like that another place called Aldi's um, they have very cheap produce so when I do buy produce I'm only spending a few bucks and it's not the end of the world if it goes bad but I know anyone from from the city is like you know you could buy i don't know broccoli or something and that's already like five six bucks and you wasting that you know it's not a good look so um yeah and i think these are only a dollar yeah only a dollar um we also have uh like fresh like like a lettuce mix that's also a dollar fantastic i put that on my nachos and uh it's great it's fantastic um now for our carbs, we have pasta. Uh, this is only what, 79 cents? Amazing, all right. It's, uh, it's just, you know, great to hold you over. Um, I know sometimes, you know, you want something quick, something, you know, you just put on and, you know, not worry about, so pasta, definitely a great source. If you kind of overdo it, you will you know, and you're not working out, you're not, you know, expend, expending those calories, you will gain a little bit of weight. So, you know, don't overdo it. And if you don't really have a choice, because like I said, we're all on a budget here. So believe me, I get it. I've been there with the ramen and stuff. So if you need to just, you know, make sure you're keeping up with your gym regimen. All right, don't forget about that. So now, Another thing we have here is ah, rice. I think this rice is about five bucks. And uh, I personally don't eat rice that much. Um, I started eating it a bit more uh, just because I've been kind of shuffling it up a little bit. But um, yeah, rice definitely lasts a long time. It's just great, you know, source of carbs help fill you up, bounce you out, give you your energy that you need for the next day, feeling refreshed and ready to go. Uh, and yeah, guys, definitely highly recommend. Like I said, it's like $5, it's like 17 $3 chicken right there, dollar corn. Like really and truly, you don't need the beef, okay? The beef is just, you know, something extra, different option because I know for me personally, I get bored of food. I cannot do the same thing and I know you get bored of food too, because as humans, we just get bored of things. It is what it is. We can't have the same thing or too much of the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's just a little change of pace, but we you don't really need it, okay? If you guys have a bunch of different ideas or things to do with chicken, or sometimes you omit the chicken, because sometimes actually, I throw in some tofu. Um, tofu is fantastic. I love tofu. It's, um, it's a great change of pace. Uh, you know, it's just soybeans and stuff like that, um, and it has fantastic amount of protein and there might be correlations with um decreased likelihood of dementia in older age with the increase of soybeans that's why japanese people have such a low incidence rate of that um and america has such a high rate of that so more soybeans um but yeah so all together there's like five dollar rice you know dollar corn three dollar whatever that's already what nine dollars said so this is less than a dollar so you spend ten dollars and you have food already and the pasta sauce that i have is around the same about 75 cents or something like that so fantastic um like i said this is wegmans so and i do buy wegmans brand things that's another reason some people you know will get all gung-ho on the brands listen if it's not far from the truth i need it it's like i need it because we don't have time to be all picky in college and stuff like that that's what teaches you it humbles you really quick um so yeah in your area it's probably different prices um but like i said look for the cheapest options that aren't gonna kill you so okay for instance for chicken don't get the skinless boneless stuff because that runs up the price because it's more labor for them to debone and de-skin things you want to get it all together if if it's cheap for you to get a whole little chicken for five dollars rather than getting it cut up then get that whole chicken for five dollars and cut it up yourself like that's all that matters or uh you have bones and skin whatever then debone and de-skin your stuff like you can do it yourself you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money oh because i want 
chicken breasts and I want them boneless and skinless and then that's gonna cost you, you know, $15. There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that. That's an excess amount of money that you don't need to be spending. Um, yeah, now on to the next thing. Potatoes, all right, starch. Love me some potatoes. I make some meat mashed potatoes. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, always need some potatoes in your life. I go sweet potatoes sometimes. Uh, potatoes are just good, you know, if you want an alternative to rice, you know, something to help fill you up, you know, fill in that gap. And it's just a great way to incorporate with different things. You could throw it along with almost anything. I've made burrito bowls out of it. I just had it alongside some barbecue chicken or just threw, just cooked up some beef real quick and just threw it inside because I had extra mashed potatoes and I ran out of my chicken. So it's really versatile. It's really great. And it's very cheap. Like I said up here, I think I only paid a dollar for this. Um, and it's like a five, six pound bag. It's fantastic. It lasts a long while. Great potatoes. Now, for our last item on the list, we have oats. Love oats. Um, because I'm not really a big person on sugar and stuff like that. Person like, don't get me wrong. I love ice cream. And macaroons, the little cookies. Oh, man. And fried ice cream. Okay, I'm getting off topic. But I do like sweets. However, I tend not to eat them and I tend not to snack. Um, that's just my thing because snacking leads to excess calories that you don't need. And I love to eat so much that a snack is a waste of my time. I rather not eat something if it's not going to fill me up. That's just my mentality. It really feels like a waste of my time. Like I'm not going to put, you know, two Oreo cookies that are, you know, 300 calories in my body because they're there like that's a waste of time it's like it's not filling me it's not helping me if anything it's hurting me it's you know no nutritional real value it's just sugar so that's how i think so why i bring that up is because whenever if i get a sweet tooth or you know you want something to really hold you down like let's say you want breakfast that day or something like that oats are a really good supplement for those things like i said if i get a little sweet craving and i don't have anything um, or I shouldn't be eating it, then, you know, just throw together some oats, some brown sugar or whatever in it, you know, don't overdo it, but enough to taste. And uh, water is great. Water is probably the best thing I advise to use with oats. Um, because, I mean, milk is good too. I do use milk, but you don't want to get carried away with the milk because I've definitely teetered between the both and realized that yes, milk tastes better, of course, but that definitely does, you know, if you're eating this consistently, definitely will put on some pounds if you are not consistent with your gym regimen. Um, so definitely if you want, you know, the best, you know, possible, you know, uh, benefits from it, I would suggest just straight up water, some sugar, and I just throw it in the microwave for about five minutes and then stir it up. And yeah, you got oats. Uh, great, great source of fiber. Um, really amazing stuff. All right, guys, so once again, just to recap, we have chicken. Remember, bone in, skin on, the cheapest option. We have frozen veggies here. I know you all have frozen veggies, and I know they're cheap. You can buy a big bag at once, however you want to do it. Amazing. Keep your veggies. You need it. Um, uh, beef, potatoes, rice pasta and oats and that's all i recommend everything else is luxury you know if you want to buy some produce you know some onions and uh garlic and all that stuff that's you know on the other side of your budget but if we're talking about the core stuff this is all you need and this price is not running you up much if i calculate this this is like three bucks a dollar for the potatoes so that's four five dollars for the rice that's nine let's say a dollar for the pasta that's ten um three one you're talking what fourteen dollars for the corn and chicken and stuff like that come on who doesn't have that add the beef that's a little bit of money so forget that but if you do have that budget throw down with some beef you know so you don't get bored stuff or sausage um sausage is another like cheap um alternative to you know switch it up so you don't get bored but yeah 
fourteen dollars. That's amazing. So then you have more money, you know, drink and party and whatever. Uh, don't do that if you're trying to get games. But um, but yeah, guys, that's all it is. All right, it's as simple as that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends and family. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.